Hey girls, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. If you are subscribed, welcome notification gang. You the real MVP. This video is gonna be on these little lashes of mine. Now, if you are part of team long lashes, this may not be impressive to you, but your girl is struggling. Very tiny, team short lash. Thumbs up if you're team short lash. This is a lot for me. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Today I'm gonna show you girls how I get my teeny lashes to look like they're something, okay? And I'm gonna be using the Ame One Coat Mega Volume. And a cool thing about this mascara is that it has this megaphone tip, which is really different because most mascaras are actually coned at the end and this one kind of fans out. The product is really concentrated on the tips and I can just kind of load it up into the lash. And then the way that it's fanned out, I can separate it as well. This is a hypoallergenic mascara, so you don't have to worry if you wear contact lenses, you don't have to worry either. And you can get it at pretty much any drugstore and it retails for $7.99, which is pretty fine for my pocket. It comes in four shades, so if you want a really dramatic lash look, you might want to go for the blackest black, which is a shade above this one. And this one is just black noir, so you know it comes in four shades, so it's something for everybody. You know, I was watching Camilla's video a while ago, and she would use a spoon to lift those lashes. So I do have a spoon that sits in my vanity, and it's this one. This is a no judgment zone. Y'all know y'all got some unconventional stuff at your vanity. What I learned was that the spoon is cool, but I need something that's a little thinner. So I'll usually take the packaging from my mascara and actually use that. And in this case, the packaging comes a little some extra on the side that you can rip off and use. If you have tiny lashes again like me, you wanna make sure that you curl them because curling the lash gives it a lift. I know you girls have seen so much of this on the internet, but lash lifting is key. And that's what this little handy dandy curler is for. So basically your lash feeds into this. <laughs> I don't wanna break my nail. But you feed your lash into this and it curls your lashes upwards. So I'm gonna do that right now and show you girls the difference. I'm gonna work on one eye at a time so you can really see how this works. So I like to just go into the base. Okay, so you girls can see these lashes are a little bit more lifted. These are kinda sagging a little bit. But we we got the other eye. We're working on this one right now, right? So now that we've got this lash curled, we're gonna go ahead and open our product up and just pop that baby out. What I'm gonna do is make sure that the brush is fully loaded with product. The hack today that I was gonna show you guys involves a spoon. But this packaging so happens to have something that we can use, which is this little extra piece right here which is perfect. So what I'm gonna do is kind of blink into my first coat. When I say blink, you kind of apply it, but like blink as you're doing it. <laughs> and you wanna blink because you're like, like through the lashes. It's gonna separate them for you. I mean, look at the difference already. That's just one coat, guys. I know that people do not recommend curling lashes with mascara on it. Now, the only way your lash is prone to breakage is if you have multiple coats and you're kind of like curling and not being really careful when you peel it away. Of course, do what you're comfortable doing, but this is kind of what I like to do. And it works for me, I have all my hairs, they're just not long, that's just genetic, so it has nothing to do with me curling it. I'm gonna be very gentle. And you guys see I kind of like just <laughs> slicked right off these lashes. And I'm gonna load the bottom of the blunt end of the mascara and I'm gonna push that up onto the bottom right from the base okay I'm already seeing a huge difference in this eye and that eye all right so now this is the third coat I'm just gonna sweep the outer lashes for more drama You know what, surprisingly, this is not really hard to do. It's like, it's not bad at all. Now I'm gonna just separate my lashes. Now I'm gonna invert the brush and turn it to the side and use that to kind of separate it as well. Uh-oh, get a mascara and the pink hair. That is a no, no. I'm impressed with this so far. I think the shape of the brush is different and it, it actually causes a lot more lift when you kind of push it up into the lash. You guys can try this out with me and let me know what you think. I just, I think it's really innovative, the shape, and it's, it's working so far. 
okay? You, you can see the difference. Team short lashes. Now, my bottom lashes are even more teeny tiny than the top. All right, we managed to do that without messing up the concealer. So this is where the hack comes in. Now that you guys can clearly see the difference between this eye and that eye, I'm gonna make sure that I really load the base of my lash line. So I'm gonna use that same little insert that I was talking about earlier, or you can use a spoon. And I like to really just work that thing in there. And I find that this really lifts the lash and allows you to really overload it with product. Alright girls, so I hope this little hack video helped. Nothing too crazy, I mean I was using the spoon because I saw Camilla do this on her channel and it worked for me, but this little insert works just as well. And if you don't have any packaging or anything to work with, you can always use like a tube makeup, the back of it, and kind of just like lift your lash as well and push the product into it. I mean, you just gotta get creative these days, okay? So anything basically that you can lay flat on your eye will help you push the product into it. Let me know what your favorite mascara hacks are below. If you are Team Tiny Lashes, be sure to let me know what your tips and tricks are. I personally like to just keep it pretty simple even though this seemed complicated, it's only because I broke it down. But when I am wearing just my natural lashes, um, it takes me no more than like five minutes to get this done. You just let it dry a little bit in between and then keep on applying. Be sure to hit me on Snap or Instagram, let me know if this hack works. Again, I'm not looking like I'm sitting on faux faux falsies, <laughs> but it does look really, really good and open and bright. And you guys definitely can see the before and the after. I mean, these lashes definitely got a little lift, okay? They got a nice little lift, all right? Love you girls, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Thank you for supporting me. I love you girls so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.